you know, do the things that I did in the backyard with my dad, you know. Um, I still remember I, I kind of got in trouble when I was a kid. Dad got me a little Hoyt recurve, and uh, I get a, I get, I get pulled in the house when I, when my dad gets home. He's like, "What have you been doing all day? Shoot my bow." Well, how many arrows? I'm like, oh, I "Shot all day." He goes, "No, at one time." And I'm like, "I don't know, five. So I had like every arrow in between my finger on the string, and I was shooting them off the riser. Welcome to the Range Podcast. I'm Ricky Bruley, and with me is Jake Hollywood Iverson. Join us at the Archery Range, where we'll tell stories from the hunt, discuss technical bow shooting tactics and gear, and pick the brains of some of the most successful people to ever shoot a bow. Whether you're about to shoot that X for the win or send an arrow at a trophy buck, this podcast is for you. The Range Podcast is brought to you by Vapor Trail Archery, makers of the best bowstrings money can buy, originators of limb-driven arrow rest technology, and innovators of stokerized stabilizer systems. Welcome to the Range, everybody. This is our segment of Shiny Objects. Uh, what we like to do here is we like to ask our guest what is the current shiny object in their life. It can be a, a, a good new read, it can be a song, it could be an upcoming hunt. Uh, or it could be an object. So, uh, Mr. Brian Anderson, what is your current shiny object? Oh, God, I'm not trying to think. I mean, yeah, it's a tough one right now, like kind of getting out of season, kind of, you know, a little less focus on that kind of stuff. Um, honestly, I know it's going to sound corny, but I think it's uh, it's going to be my son. He's just starting to really get the interest into shooting um, a bow and – and want to be hunting with me. Um, so I think that's going to be my focus over the next year or so is getting him to actually be able to, you know, fling the arrow better, you know, do the things that I did in the backyard with my dad. You know, um, I still remember I, I kind of got in trouble when I was a kid. Dad got me a little Hoyt recurve and uh, I get a, I get, I get pulled in the house when I, when my dad gets home, he's like, what have you been doing all day? Shoot my bow. Well, how many arrows? I'm like, oh, I shot all day. He goes, no, at one time. And I'm like, I don't know, five. So I had like every arrow in between my finger on the string and I was shooting them off the riser. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I knew better. I knew better, but it still kind of reminds me of like going in the backyard and, and you know, getting Wes ready for, uh, for the future. Like, so yeah, that's going to be my shiny object is, you know, focus on him. He's got a little custom recurve that his sister got when she was two. Um, so he's been shooting that. Willow got into a compound this year. And uh, yeah, it's it's focusing on those guys and, and, and getting the future ready for that. So that's sweet. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good one, too. That's good. Brian's yeah. killing it. I like that. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. You are killing it. And I see, I, I love this, too, because, you know, I. I like to kind of catch people off guard a little bit, right? Yeah, because then it, it kind of does make make you think for a second, and and it kind of helps you count your blessings too, where you're where you're just Amen. like, oh, what is what is my you know? You got to dig deep sometimes to figure it out because there's always so much going on, right? So you you have to prioritize or figure out what what is the big one, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's cool. That's great. What is this? Appreciate my turn. It. It's your turn. Yeah, I'm oh, looking boy. at you, bud. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Not shiny. much room for shiny objects right now, huh? No. Right? I think, uh, oof, I don't even know if this counts as a shiny object. I hate to make my shiny object be about work, but I think, <laughs> I think, I think right now my shiny object is maybe completing some of the, you know, sales stuff that Rory and I have been working on just, mm -hmm. and, and I guess, uh, working on the, uh, back end infrastructure for just customer service and, uh, helping with orders, you know, uh, yep. processing orders is, uh, we're working on a big old project on the back end that hopefully will help us be much more efficient next year, uh, mainly in the awesome. strings department. But, um, yeah, it's taken up a lot of my time. I'd say in the last, you know, well, I guess almost month mm -hmm. uh, on top of the pro shop too. Um, I think I'm just excited for all that to mm -hmm. settle and, uh, maybe have some Mai Tais on the beach in Mexico. There you I'm, go. So literally going to be in Mexico in about a couple of weeks. So nice. Ooh, I'll have my tie too. just for this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People don't realize what infrastructure needs to be done in, on some of these even smaller companies like we are. And like you guys, I mean, mm -hmm. we're big, but we're not giant, you know? So yeah, you should be proud of that, man. That's a, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. I, and it's, uh, it's dumb because, uh, 
you know, busy season never really ends. I'd say once you're in the <laughs> industry, uh, to a point like, you know, pro shops have their peaks and valleys for sure. Um, same with our businesses, but like right now, as soon as we're done with like string orders and I guess arrow rest too, we pivot instantly and start working on our back end. Like, okay, what did we screw up last year to fix this year? Yeah. Yep. Um, and just keep, you know, keep evolving. And that's, I guess, keeps us always busy on every end of it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I'm excited to be done with that. Nice. <laughs> it's never ending, but you know, no, whatever. Yeah. The, the more recent <laughs> stuff I'll be excited to be done with. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. It's a good shiny object. Um, so, so for me, uh, I guess, you know, and maybe mine's going to sound a little bit corny. I don't know, but it's, I, cause I normally don't get jazzed up about Christmas anymore. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like you kind of just get to, you're just like, okay, you know, it's great. But my daughter is, you know, she's three and she is so super excited. Like Santa Claus got to see Santa Claus and, really stoked about putting cookies out. She wants to put pickles and hot dogs out for the reindeer, wow. you know? So just looking forward to, you know, Monday morning, she gets to get up and open all those gifts that she's been just begging to open, you know, and Coda as well. Uh, you know, our son Coda, he is pretty jazzed up too, you know? And, and I just, I remember back when I was his age too, it was kind of the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, you know, trying to, trying to negotiate with your parents to open just one gift. Can oh. I just open just <laughs> one early? You know what I mean? And so, and he keeps asking and keeps asking. And, and I just, and I keep reminding myself, it's like, yep, I remember being there that at that time. And so I'm pretty excited about that. And then, you know, me and my wife decided that we were going to stop buying each other gifts. And so we're just, now we're going to uh, invest in experiences. So we're taking a oh. trip. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Arizona. Um, we're mm -hmm. going to spend a weekend, actually the weekend of ATA. So I won't be there for the first time. And how dare oof. you? <laughs> yeah, I, I won't be there. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it, we're staying in like this little, I don't know. It's kind of like a hippie, like gypsy, uh, like Airbnb kind of just like 15 minutes outside of Sedona. And this gal has like, there's like an apple orchard and like a little vineyard there. And she's got a room dedicated to, to like crystals and all this stuff, which just like, that is like, Oh heaven for my wife. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. She is just like going to spend the entire weekend meditating in that room. I swear. Um, and I'll probably join her too, but yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do a, we're going to meet with a, a shaman. Oh yeah. And we're going to walk out into the, into the vortex of Sedona and cause there's like a, there's like some certain, uh, magnetism or something in that, in that particular area. And so we're going to have a, a shamanistic experience that for some mm. people is like almost, I don't know, maybe it sounds weird, but it's like taking mushrooms without taking mushrooms. Yeah. Like so a vision just, quest. Yeah. It's basically like that. You mm. know what I mean? Where you just, you, you kind of meditate and they do some things and you just get into this altered state of mind. Sounds wild. So yeah, that's, that's, awesome. that's, that's awesome. what we're going to do. I'm that's, super excited about it. It's going to be so, fun. I'm so happy. You said there's like a rock or crystal room. Cause you said like hippie thing. I'm like, I, there has to be rocks or crystals. Somewhere. Oh, it was already on my <laughs> mind. I watched, I watched Matt Reif yesterday and he was talking about women and crystals. I'm like, it instantly, I'm like pocket full of rocks and crystals. Yep. yep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and my wife always prefaces when she talks to me about that. She's like, well, I don't know whether you believe in this or not, but you know, and then she'll kind of dive into it and I'm just like, Hey, you know what? I'm all about, I, 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 I get that natural, you know, like mm -hmm. I spend plenty of time in the woods where I agree that it lifts your soul and does all those things, you know, digging your feet into the sand and just suck soaking up the energy from the earth you know so i'm absolutely I'm all about that i'm not all against i mean i'm a little skeptical i was in sedona a decade ago or something and we were in some gift shops and there was people like standing in front of some of these like granite um stones like these five foot six foot granite stones and they were kind of standing in front of them and they're like oh i can feel the energy what? and i was kind of like me being skeptical i was just kind of like whatever you know what i mean <laughs> so i just so so i told my wife that story one time and so ever since then she's just like she does. She she knows I'm super skeptical and and thinks that I don't really believe in that kind of stuff. And yeah, I am a little bit skeptical, but I'm willing to 
ex- try to experience try it, it and see what yeah. it's all about. Is this going to be the breakthrough trip? Is it? Is this you going back? Going is this your first time back to Sedona? To where um, maybe you'll see those rocks. Yeah, actually, it is. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is. So yeah. we'll see. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Have some crazy hippie experiences in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> when you get back, is it the 14th or 15th? I'm coming back on the 15th. Yeah. Oh, so we Sunday. overlap. I take off the 15th. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll be in a much less rock environment. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely modern day. Yeah. Uh, I won't be escaping nothing. It'll be Miami to start with, so it'll be wild. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm bummed that I'm I'm gonna not see your face, Brian. But you we'll know, catch up this summer. We got to we got tap events something. and other events we can hook up at. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so that brings us to the end of this episode. Uh, Brian, where can folks find you if they want to reach out or if they have any questions? Um, call the office. I mean, any of the websites, any of that stuff, they can come directly to, you know, catch me on that. Um, your boy BA on Instagram, if they want to reach out that direct with, directly. Um, but yeah, yeah. I'm always at the, at the office. So any of the websites or any of the social media, I'll, I'm, they'll be able to find me. So fantastic well thanks again man really appreciate you being on i know i know uh it's a busy time of year and you know we were chatting last night and and it was like well are we, are we good to go on this or do you think we can it's like let's do it man you know what I yeah mean? no that so, was it was funny you um, sent me over the the schedule and it actually had christmas day on and i almost clicked on it just to screw with you guys i'm like oh, yeah, they didn't <laughs> no, no it, was, it was a good day i i work four days in the office and one day at home so um, I was at home today, so it was perfect. I'm just trying to keep the kiddos from being too loud outside the door while we did this. So, but no, it was, it was a pleasure guys. I really, really had a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah. Same. It was great to talk to you again. It's been a little while. So yeah, for sure. Awesome. Good learning too. And I'm excited for 24 for you guys and us as well. Back at so, you guys. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So yeah, you can all find us at the range podcast on Instagram and Facebook. Also check out the Vapor Trail and Stoker Eyes social channels and give us a follow there. And please be sure to head over over to our Vapor Trail YouTube channel. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe so you can be up to date on all things archery. If you're listening, do me a huge favor. Give us a rating on either iTunes or on Spotify and make certain you give us five stars. Nothing less. Yeah. Only less. Yeah. Or only five stars. (laughs) (laughs) And with that, we're going to pack up our bows and arrows and my ugly sweater and hit the range. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Peace out, guys. everybody. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Vapor Trail is now offering an exclusive discount to the range podcast listeners. Enter promo code TRP15, that's T-R-P-15, at checkout for 15% off VTX bowstrings and Vapor Trail and Stokerize branded t-shirts, hats, and other gear.